instead of my normal opening slate, I decided to use this one instead. This video was shot over several weeks while waiting for the kit and then the actual results. Alright guys, as you guys know, I said I was going to do um, order my Ancestry DNA DNA test kit and it's Sunday and it's here. So let's open the box. Had to get the scissors. Usually I can tear right through Amazon's uh, tape. Today I can't. This is it. Ancestry DNA. So, this is it. When I go to open it and do the test, I'll be back. Yeah. Alright guys, so I've had the test for probably a week now and I'm just getting around to opening it. Let me explain a little bit about why I'm doing this. Um, according to my birth certificate, I was born in New Orleans, Louisiana non-identifying specific information that was given to my adoptive parents was that my mother, my, bio my biological mother, was of Italian descent and the biological father was of Native American hodgepodge. So, I'm, I want to know who I am and what other things I might have to look, look for health-wise. If if there's anything, any markers for other health concerns. Um, I'm really scared about this. And the reason is because there are so many what ifs that go on through my mind. It's bright out here, I apologize. So many what ifs go through my head. What if I find them, meaning them by biological family members, and they don't want to know me? What if I'm related to someone like my daughter-in-law joked the other day about, you know, well, mom, if you're related to Hitler, we'll still love you. Or if you, you know, related to John Wayne Gacy, we'll still love you. Or Jeffrey Dahmer, we'll still love you. You know, those thoughts never crossed my mind until she said that. So anyway, so I've opened the kit. I've registered my kit. And you get this lovely little, uh, my uncle Earl would have called this a spittoon. <laughs> so I'm going to go fill this with my spit off camera because the whole process sounds just gross. So I'll be back when I'm done to show you what we do next. All right. All right. That was really gross. I gagged my own self. Now I get to shake it. Shake it till it turns blue. I think is what I was just told. Yes. I got some mix a lot in my head. <coughs> Why? I don't know. My blue jet? What is supposed to turn blue? The spit. Oh. Okay. Am I blue yet? Probably. No. <laughs> ah, that's gross. Not bright. It's not supposed to be bright blue. It's not blue at all. It's clear. It says, oh, it has to turn blue. Well, looking at it like this, it's not blue. But if I look at it and hold it up to the light, it's blue. So, it says, insert capped tube into bag. Seal the, set, the, 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 the collection bag. Put bag into return mail, blah, blah, blah. Don't forget to activate test online. We've done that. I guess it's just a piece of packing material. All right. Here goes nothing or something. Anyway, I'm just afraid of the collective skeletons that might be in my biological past. You know, 
Although my mom, my adoptive mom and I are on the outs, most of you know why. Um, she's always gonna be my mom and my dad that raised me, her husband, my mother's husband, of uh, over 25 years. Those are gonna be my parents, always, 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 always. And I made a promise as a child, uh, not as a child, I was a teenager, that I wouldn't go looking. But who'da, who'da thunk that technology and the new millennium would allow me to maybe discover who I really am. Not that I'm, I don't know who I am, but who am I genetically? Um, I suffer from several different autoimmune diseases, as does one of my children. Uh, both of my boys have problems with their joints. Um, so, this is to benefit health-wise, as well as, you know, grandbabies are being born. So, I want to know what they have to look forward to, health-wise. And if we find new family along the way, great. If not, I might be a little bit upset about it, but not really. Because I never, never thought I'd be able to do something like this. That this was going to be available. And I, I, I look forward to finding out. So, when I get my results, that'll be the next clip. This is the update for September the 18th. Here is DNA analyzed, checked off. I was taking this photo when the next thing happened. It is not often that I am rendered speechless. I had a hard time trying to process this information. All my life I had been told I was of Italian and French descent. All right, we are on our way to tell my kids. <laughs> okay, all of you are aware that I took a DNA test, right? Yeah. You're not the father. <laughs> no, not, I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> I now know where I come from. You're a Chewbacca baby. Yeah, I too. <laughs> and, and, uh, found <laughs> Baby's walking off. Okay. Okay. Is that it? Yeah, he was getting like deuces. So, would you like to see where I come from? Or would you like me to tell you what part of the world we come from? Look at him, Mom. Thought we were gypsies. <laughs> hey, Grandma. At the rate we move? Yes. <laughs> then? I am 80% British. British? That explains Super our white. up teeth. <laughs> I am 14% Scottish and Irish. I am 8% Norwegian. Skin, teeth, yep. 
complexions? We just uh, We're just glad it's over with. <laughs> I have known since Sunday most of this information. Alright. Do you know how hard it was not to tell anybody else? Okay. The only people I knew were him and Sheila and Ken. That was him. Hi guys. So this video has been about my journey with ancestry DNA testing. So I spit the tube on the 7th of September and while on a unplanned weekend adventure with my cousin and her other half, we ended up in Leavenworth. Well, I had looked Friday afternoon and my results were like at the processing stage. Like they had gone through everything. The next was for them to be posted. It was Friday. I wasn't expecting to see them until this week, which is the first through the fifth. Uh, we were out and about in Leavenworth, Washington, just taking in the sights. It was a really pretty place. I'm sure you've seen that vlog. So I was in the process of taking a picture of my cousin. And all I saw, because you guys know I'm, I'm visually impaired, so when the, the drop down came down, I was like, okay, and I was close enough to my screen. In order for me to be able to read anything at this point, the phone is probably le less than 12 inches from my face. So that way you can actually see me. But if I want to have to read anything on the screen as it drops down, I have to be here. Which means that the phone is at the tip of my nose. Anyway, that's not what this is about. So, while taking a picture of her, all I saw was DNA, and I just flicked the, the notification up because I was trying to take a picture. So, I waited a few minutes, and I was like, well, I'm not sure what that was. All I saw was the letters DNA. So, eh. So, I was just like, okay, whatever. So, I sat down, and it was Chris and Sheila and her other half, and we were just sat down because I needed to, to read these things. I'd been anticipating them, but I didn't know how I would respond. So I really wish, you know, if you don't film it, you ain't got it, but that's okay. So I open up the, the notification and it says Chanel's, which is my name, results are in. So I was like, oh my God. And I, when I saw, when I saw my ethnic background, I was like, Oh, okay. You know, because all of my life I had been told that my biological mother was of Italian descent. Well, if you look at my DNA results, there's no Italy in my DNA. But that's okay. Um, so, on Ancestry DNA, they give you like matches, they, they show you d genetic matches. So I had several of them that were first cousin. So I was like, okay, you know, and before I could even really look at those, I had four messages already from genetic matches that were first cousins. So immediately I, I messaged them back and I was like, hi, you know, blah, 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 blah. Well, the one person who contacted me first said, I have an, an, an email address I want you to email and tell them in the title, Ancestry DNA. And I was like, okay. So I emailed the person and the, okay. Potentially he is my half brother on my mother's biological mother's side. He has one full sibling, which is an older sister. So, I potentially have found biological brother, biological sister. And I'm like, I'm just floored because I didn't really think I'd even get this far this quickly in, this, in the scheme of what I thought should happen. <laughs> Real life versus what I thought kind of thing. I thought, well, I'm not going to find any matches. And if I do, there's nobody going to be able to tell me anything. But, so the first person that messaged me is a first cousin maternally from where all we've gathered. So she sent me to this other person who potentially is my half brother. It's still kind of, 
mind blowing. Um, and uh, the uh, the sad part is. is that she passed away in 1994 at age 44 due to complications of them removing a brain tumor. So the brain tumor, hold on. So the brain tumor didn't kill her. It was complications afterwards that, that she succumbed to. Um, I'm, you know, I knew <clears throat> I knew in my heart that I had missed that opportunity. I don't know how I knew. I just knew that I had missed out. Um, but here's the part that really, really blew my mind. I was raised right there at the West Vigo Morero line, which is West we go is incorporated is one for one square mile, complete square mile all the way around. So when my parents obtained custody of me in uh, December of 1971, all of my life, with the exception of when I lived across the river with my first husband, all of my life, I was less than 20 minutes away from her for a good majority of my life. Well, talking with my potential half-brother last night, because uh, he was telling me that he lives in Columbus, and I said, oh, my ex-husband is from uh, Webster County, and uh, he said, oh, what part? I was like, well, my ex-husband grew up right there off the Natchez Trace in Matheson. He says, I lived in Eupora, which is south of Matheson, from 1988 to 1994. His mother, my potential biological mother, worked at the Traceway restaurant right there at the head of their street. And we would eat there every time we visited my ex-husband's family. from 1988 when I first met him until 1994 when she passed away we would go to Mississippi and stay four days uh, one time we stayed two weeks it was just you know because he had gotten hurt on the job so I, I literally I had met her in some capacity I'd met her so then he asked me he says well can I ask what your ex-husband's last name is and I said, well, you have a Glenn Pennington on your friends list. He goes, oh. And I was like, my ex-husband is a Pennington. And he, he said, said, oh, uh, I work for the police department in Matheson. He says, I know the sheriff, Bobby Pennington. And I was like, that is my ex-husband's first cousin. You know? <laughs> just I was bum rushed so I have I met him through a uh, police function because my ex-in-laws would donate to the police department and stuff like that because of, of Bobby Matheson only had two and a half cops 
Bobby, who was the, the sheriff, and then uh, a full another full time officer, and then my potential half brother was their their uh, part time officer and dispatcher. So, yeah. <laughs> now. He's going to try to do his ancestry DNA test by the end of this month. And he'd been meaning to do it for years. You know, that's how he found the cousin. Well, that's how the cousin found him or vice versa, which is the cousin. My first cousin lives in Nashville. And it. so when we go in March... I want to see these people. I want to physically be able to touch them. Um, there's a first, second, and third cousin in my pro in my matches that aren't related to the potential half-brother and half-sister um, biologically through the maternal line. My biological father probably does not know I exist. And, you know, DNA DNA can only get me so far. I, you know, somebody's got to step up and go, okay, let's talk, your, talk about your story. So, I am, you know, I'm following those leads. But, I'm still very, very overwhelmed with the whole situation. Um, I'm glad I did it. I probably would have done it sooner. But I kept dragging my feet because I was afraid of the unknown. And uh, I finally did it because... We have to go forward in order to, you know, track my health through my children and their children. Well, biologically, if she is my mother, she died at a very young age due to a tumor on her brain. Uh, he didn't say if it was malignant or benign, uh, but yeah. So, and I have that little 4.4 millimeter anomaly on my brain. Um, as far as other illnesses, if she had them, he doesn't know. But they have, his sister, which is his only full-blooded sibling, and he knew about me, potentially, uh, since 1983. You know. And then I have a conspiracy theory, and I'll do that in another video. But I'm still processing this information. I'm still just absorbing what I've learned. You know, I know where I come from now. I know where my ethnic roots are. And... I'll put some pictures, you know, I'll put a picture of me and a picture of her, potentially her, and a picture, you know, I'll do a side-by-side -side comparison of a picture of me and a picture of her. This is my wedding picture in 1990. This is her after I was born. Her in her late 20s, early 30s. Do you see a resemblance? Um, lots of people see a, a strong resemblance. I also have a picture of her mother. This is potentially my biological maternal grandmother. And my potentially half-sister. Um, we're just kind of taking this day by day, you know, and... March, I hope I get the opportunity to meet these people. And so, um, but I'm going to 
conclude and post this. Um, again, I started this journey when I ordered my DNA test at the beginning of September. Uh, drove my feet for a week because I, I, I was afraid. Uh, fear of the unknown can be crippling. Took the test on the 7th. It arrived at their facility on the 11th. And I had my results by the 30th. Now this is this is abnormally quick. If you plan on doing an Ancestry DNA or a 23andMe test or whatever other brands are out there, know that if you do that around the holidays and uh, especially Christmas or Hanukkah uh, or Mother's Day or Father's Day, your results could take eight weeks. Mine only took less than four, but again. September is not a busy month for things like that. Oh. He is the, my t potential half-brother. His birthday is almost to the day. He's almost a, to the day a year older than I am. His birthday is September the 6th. And... My my birth certificate says my birthday is September the tenth. So, it, you know, it's it's just kind of cool. And then, uh, I, I I turned forty seven. He turned forty eight. So she was. So his biological sister is fifty. Yeah. So. But anyway, um, I'm gonna conclude this video and let you know. All in all, it was a very very good experience um i can't wait to see what else i can learn um because the biological uh father thing i need to you know do a little more research but in theory my half brother found me via a first cousin pointing me in that direction so, be good, stay out of trouble, and don't do anything I wouldn't do. And thanks, guys. Bye. Again, thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more on my journey, just give me a comment and a like below. Thank you.